Hey everybody, it's Will here again. Hope you all are doing well. And I want to take a minute at the start of this video to thank all of the new subscribers and supporters to my YouTube channel for all the positive feedback and encouragement at the start of this 365 Days of Guitar series. I look forward to what's to come for the rest of 2020. Cheers. Today, we're having a look at this 2019 Gibson Les Paul Special TV which is part of Gibson's long-awaited original collection that was announced in March of last year. It was kind of a back-to-a-roots uh, approach instead of doing the various model year guitars. It was just a core range of great Les Pauls, SGs, Flying Vs, and that sort of a thing. This guitar is one of the more accurate reissues of the original TV special to come out of Gibson USA in some time, and that's why I had to have it. Outside of this, traditionally, unless you were lucky to score like a, a made-for-Japan market guitar, you either had to pony up for the custom shop if you wanted traditional specs like a wrap tail or a bound fingerboard in some cases, or even something as simple as the Mother of Pearl logo, or you could get one of the various Gibson USA offerings that's come out over the last probably 10 or 15 years, but there are often very subtle uh, cosmetic differences that just made the guitar a little bit different than the traditional 50s spec. So this guitar was a welcome addition and when I saw that they were releasing these I had to get my hands on one. The original Les Paul Special debuted around 1955 and was kind of an intermediate guitar in the Les Paul range above that of the Les Paul Junior which was the single pickup unbound guitar with the regular kind of silkscreen gold logo and just very, very basic slab body. Uh, and again, just the one pickup. This model takes it a step further, adding your second pickup and second uh, controls there. You have the Mother of Pearl logo and you have binding on the fingerboard, but still the slab body construction. These guitars were favored a lot by various musicians over the years, and two of my favorites that played a Les Paul Special TV were Johnny Thunders, of Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers, and the New York Dolls, as well as Gord Lewis from the Canadian rock band Teenage Head. This guitar features a slab mahogany body. It weighs about probably seven and a half pounds, maybe a little over that, certainly under eight. It has a rounded 50s style neck profile, and the neck is also mahogany. It has the Klusen, um, or Klusen rather, tuners, uh, bound fingerboard with 22, probably medium jumbo frets, two P90 pickups, just standard P90s, they're not P100s or anything like that, and then your standard Les Paul controls, two volumes, two tones, and a three-way selector switch. An interesting fact about the TV designation is that that name came from the fact that they came up with this TV finish, or some will also call it limed mahogany, uh, for use on black and white televisions. They wanted a guitar that would stand out, and often white guitars in the lighting of the day, when put on a black and white television, would look fairly washed out. So having the TV yellow guitar on a black and white television just gave it a certain po visual pop. Now, interestingly, I love this color, even in color. So I find on stage it has a great look, and the best part is it matches my pants, too. Anyway, I look forward to showing you some sound samples of this guitar, and I hope you enjoy them. Thanks for taking the time to listen to this, and again, for all the support. Take care.
Thank you.